and we are back in 2018 with a fresh video and for today I stumbled upon a really interesting movie trailer that I think we need to check out it's called Beirut I cannot wait let's get it I got the ethic that works no I can get it like me What's going on everybody? It's your boy Lucky Loosh coming at you in 2018 with a brand new fresh video. I'm really excited for this one actually because I stumbled upon a trailer that um, I saw sort of on social media and I saw the title of it which was called Beirut. Now that obviously excited me. If you guys haven't seen my Lebanon vlogs, uh, go ahead and check those out. I really had a blast making them and obviously touring the amazing country of Lebanon. So whenever you see uh, uh, Lebanon or Beirut in the mainstream or there's a brand new movie or whatnot, I definitely wanted to jump on the occasion and I wanted to review and react to the trailer live and direct with you guys because I'm really excited to see what this movie is about and uh, how they portray Lebanon. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I was raised as an only child. With two okay, people who first flag, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man, it's one of these movies. Oh boy, why? All right, so Beirut 1982. Um, man, literally one of the darkest hours of our country. Whew. What a way to start. Okay, so 1982, I don't know if you guys knew this or not. Um, probably Lebanon was at its worst during this time. And I'm not sure why they're showing a picture of what looks to be a, a desert of some sort. Uh, lots of smog going on. Uh, lots of pollution. It could be because of the, the dust from the, from the rubble. Um, 1982 was, I think, the year that Israel invaded Beirut. And... Um, tried to break its infrastructure in half in the process, but let, let's continue. Let's give it more faith. We're only three seconds in, guys. Don't, more faith. Come on, let's go. With two people who basically hated each other just enough to stay together. So I guess you could say I've been mediating since well before I was born. Years before I heard the term mutually assured destruction, I was very familiar with it growing up in that house. Okay, so there's, okay, wow. Um, so, they're, so they're setting the scene here where he's already been to Lebanon and he was back to, uh, to give a speech of some sort and then this bomb goes off. Uh, I'm not sure where he was, not much context there. Just a random bomb going off, tons of suffering. Okay, good start. Lebanon is a great place, let's do it. Mason Francis Skiles, 45 years old. Ten years ago, he was deputy chief of mission here, until his wife was killed. He's damaged goods, but he's manageable. All right, hold on. I need to back that up really quick. Um, I'm not sure where that is. Is that supposed to be Beirut? Um... I don't think this was filmed in Lebanon, obviously, but I, I think uh, I think they really uh, they did a poor job at, at showing Beirut at the time. Um, I'm not sure where this is, but literally, it's just concrete buildings um, that don't even have like walls or foundations or or windows or anything for that matter. Um, I'm not sure where they got this picture from, but let's let's. Let's continue. Maybe one of you could tell me what I'm doing here. Three nights ago, an American was pulled off the street in West Beirut. Next morning, we got a communique from a group calling itself the Militia of Islamic Liberation. They have Militia of Islamic Liberation. M-I-L? Okay. Not sure, not sure who they are, but... Um, okay. They have the guy they want to talk. They want you to burger the deal. They asked for you specifically. Your friend Cal, he's the hostage. Cal's the head of all Mideast operations. He talks. You be waiting for bodies to pile up on the embassy sidewalk. What does he want me to do? You're an experienced negotiator. Negotiate. What do you 
what? I will track all Riley for the return of. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, hold on, wait one minute. I do not know any Lebanese person that speaks like this when they speak English. Guys, that's not even a Lebanese accent. If you're Lebanese and you're watching this, I guarantee you that your father or your uncle does not sound like that. Okay, we have a much, I guess we're not as rough around the edges when we have when we have an accent in, in, in English. I do not know where they got this guy from, but he is definitely not uh, Lebanese because uh, this is not the, the accent that we have when we speak English. They don't even look, they don't even look Lebanese. Give me a meeting in Israel. Munich Olympics, Madrid, flight 305, 46 days. All of this, Rafid Abu Rajal. Is this about you looking? Rafid Abu Rajal. I don't know if that's even a Lebanese last name. Is this about you looking for the man who killed your wife? They can't find your brother. You're going to have to come up with an alternative. This is alternative. <laughs> Hold on. This is alternative. Guys, I th this is like, I don't know. This is like a North African accent he they look he looks moroccan or 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 algerian this is not accurate so far in any way possible the only thing remotely close to to lebanon so far seems to be the title he's given us six hours to deliver the brother he's hiding he's been driven so deep his own people don't know where he is right now there's a so the americans want to keep their secrets which we all know uh, in 1982, many countries were trying to keep their secrets in Lebanon. Lebanon literally turned into a, um, I don't want to swear, but a cluster F uh, for several countries to come in and impose their will for what seemed to be a very geopolitical strategic point in the Middle East. So, yes. I think a lot of countries are trying to keep their secrets, America being one of them, and it seems like they are collaborating with Israel, who um, was literally bombing the shit out of Beirut at the time. But we proceed. I love a lot of unprotected pieces in the field. Do you think they want to save Cal, or do you think they want to save the information? That's an ugly question. Clearly the month- The Israelis want to raise the stakes, okay. The have taken over Lebanon. Something needs to be done. And give Israel the keys they to the city? Us. I need to see Cal. And it's impossible. It's only impossible if he's dead. 2,000 years of revenge, vendetta, murder. Welcome to Beirut. Hold on. 2,000 years of revenge, death, and murder? Welcome to Beirut? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, I had to. I didn't want to swear, but 2,000 years of revenge, death, and murder? Welcome to Beirut. That, that's the message that they want to that they want to end this trailer with? This is the message that they want people to hold on to before they watch the movie? Wow. I, wow, okay. So, I mean, first impressions are poor, if that wasn't obvious already. Um, I am disappointed. I'm saddened by such a an abuse of the beautiful name of the capital of Lebanon. Uh, I'm... I'm disheartened by such a perverted version of, uh, of, of that place uh, during that time. And I don't even think this was shot in Lebanon. I don't even think they used Lebanese actors, to be honest, because it's really, you know, the Lebanese accent, the English accent for Lebanese people is very distinctive. But it, does, it definitely does not sound like this. I will tell you that right now. Um, I'm not sure where, where they got that from. And then, boy, oh boy, 2,000 years of, what was it? Uh, revenge, death, and murder? Man. 2,000 years. The, the, that was the Phoenician times. 
in 2000 years ago the the Phoenicians were traveling the world uh, expanding their navy teaching the world the alphabet 2000 years ago I mean it wasn't that much long when uh, Jesus was walking the mountains of Lebanon along with with his mother the Virgin Mary what a what a deep history Lebanon has in the past 2000 years for you guys to have just reduced it to this bullshit trailer about this bullshit plot line with people that have nothing to do with that beautiful place hey and i'll be the first to admit Lebanon was really screwed up during that time 1982 was probably it's one of its darkest years i get it but at least try to have some historical accuracy and not tarnish the last 2000 years of what was an amazing contributing civilization known to, to, to mankind in one of the most amazing historical uh, 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 landscapes known to all of all three religions, monotheistic religions, and even just in general, like the life that Jesus led and, and everything that happened in the past 2000 years. Wow. I am incredibly disappointed. So what does this mean? Well, I mean, for me, I think that um, there's definitely a narrative that they're trying to push right now for the mainstream. Um, I just came back from Lebanon a couple of months ago, and I can tell you right now that Lebanon has never been in a better place, especially after the recent crushing of the ISIS cockroaches. Now, I don't want to get political. This is not a political channel, but you know, you, you got to call a spade a spade and you got to, you got to, I call, I like to call it how I see it. So I witnessed for the first time in many years, a very stable, happy, you know, somewhat united, more united than, than, than recent memory, uh, Lebanon. And I'm not entirely sure why they're trying to push this narrative into the mainstream. The only reasonable explanation that I can have is, 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 if, is if they are perhaps predicting uh, some instability in the area. And if they are predicting some instability in the area, um, I think this is the takeaway that they want most people to have about that, that place in the world. So that when the bombing begins and the suffering is shown on TV, they'll have this as a reference. What a shame. What a shame. Well, I mean, what we can do is definitely not go watch this movie. I could tell you guys this right now. Um, you guys should definitely also check out all of my Lebanon vlogs that I uh, created showcasing, you know, the most amazing and memorable experiences that I had there. I even met the army, uh, shook hands with them and thanked them for, for everything they were doing alongside their allies in the region. But uh, all in all, really, really, really disappointed. Um, nope, it's not going to work. Not this time. Sorry, guys. I think Lebanon is going to prevail. It's going to survive this bullshit movie. And uh, we're only going to get stronger from here. So that was my reaction to this trailer, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the trailer as well. I want to know what your thoughts were. Is it interesting? Maybe I'm going too far. I don't know. Um, I was curious enough to, to look at the trailer. There may be some people curious enough to actually watch the movie and see what's going on, uh, just surely for entertainment value. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that. This is Lucky Gang. I am Lucky Loosh. You keep it locked. You keep it loaded. Let's go. Let's go.